Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to take you through my experiences using clip-on aero bars for the first time. So a bit of background on what these are for. Basically, these aero bars clip onto your normal handlebars and allow you to get into a lower, more aerodynamic position. This means you should be able to go faster for the same amount of energy. So my plan is to use these because I have some triathlons upcoming. In triathlon, they're even more useful because you're not allowed to draft off other people. So making sure you're nice and low and very aerodynamic is the aim of the game. There's a whole load of different aero bars you can get, but I got these cheap ones from Decathlon. Given it's my first time using them, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on them. So they are around 40 pounds, very easy to install. All you need is an Allen key and you literally just unscrew one bolt and put them onto your bike like that. Installing them took me about five minutes and after that it was time to go out onto the open road. So going into the aero bars for the first time was pretty sketchy. The whole bike wobbles and you really don't feel that safe. However, after a few attempts, you get used to it and feel a lot better. Being in the aero bars is quite dangerous because you don't have instant access to your brakes. So be sure to look far enough ahead and give yourself enough time to move your hands back just in case. So after my first ride using the aero bars, I felt quite confident actually. However, there is one problem with them. That is you can't change gears while in the aero position, which is very annoying. If you live somewhere that's really flat, you might be able to get away with it. You can just pick one gear and stick with that for a while. But here in England, it's always up and down, so you're always changing gear. If you want to change gears while you're using the aero bars, it's quite annoying. You need to move your hands from the aero bars back into the original position and then back onto the aero bars, which is very, very time consuming. However, there is a solution to the gear shifting problem, but it only works if you have an electronic group set. I'm using SRAM, but I'm pretty sure there's a Shimano version as well. Basically, you get these little wireless blips. These are pretty much just extra shifting buttons and you can attach these to any point on your bike and it basically allows you to shift from whatever position you want. Of course, I'm gonna install them onto my aero bars. It is pretty easy to do. Basically, the box comes with a little sticker which you attach to the bottom of the blip and then you wrap your handlebar tape around it to secure it in place. It's pretty secure and I had no worries about this coming off. Then it's just the case of pairing it with your group set and overall this whole process took about 10 minutes. So time to head out with this new shifting solution and to be honest, there's not really much to say here. You just get yourself into your nice aero position and then you just click the buttons to shift whenever you want. It is really, really easy and really, really convenient. Overall, I'm pretty happy with these aero bars and this wireless shifting solution. You get like 90% of the benefits of a proper triathlon bike without having to spend a ridiculous amount of money. If you're wanting to try out aero bars, then I would definitely recommend this setup. I'm not too sure about the fit yet. Obviously, I haven't spent that much time in the aero position. On the internet, it says you should lift your seat and move it forward a tiny bit, and that will make it better. But so far, I haven't adjusted my seat at all, and I feel fine. Obviously, as I spend more time in the aero position, I'll make small adjustments to try and make it fit properly. Anyway, that's it for me. I'll definitely have an update on this video moving forward. Let's see how long these cheap aero bars last. Hopefully it should be quite a while because it's literally just a piece of metal. The video about my Olympic distance triathlon will be coming out pretty soon. So if you want to see that, be sure to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.